Hey guys, it's me Elite 7 here, and today I'm going to be coming at you guys with another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing my custom World War II American Half Track. Now of course, as I already said, I, you know, it is American Half Track, so it's not the German Half Track. And yeah, so as most of you guys know, uh, or I hope you know, I did actually have a old model of my Half Track, and you can actually, you know, watch a review of it in the description, there's a link below and you can watch it uh, but please look at that after you finish this video um, so yeah I did actually have an old version the problem with the old version though is that it was um, kinda weak and kinda frustrating, there was also some things that weren't exactly accurate so I decided to destroy it and I started from scratch and made a brand new model now of course this model is much stronger, uh, much more accurate and just overall is a much better looking model. So first of all I want to point out the scale is pretty good. I think you guys can tell that it's a pretty decent scale at least compared to most uh, like or at least compared to other people so the scale is pretty decent. Uh, so one thing I do want to point out and I actually was really proud of and I actually just found out a couple like hours ago or 30 minutes ago or something like that that I could do this. On my new model I can actually put eight full minifigures in the back right here. On my old one I can only fit four so of course that means four more minifigures compared to my old model in the back and that's really impressive not only that because it's actually more accurate and it's just so like such a good feeling when you do that I mean I was so happy so eight full minifigures that's really impressive I was really glad I could do that so yeah anyways starting off with the front uh, we have a little backpack here because, you know, for gear or something like that. So, just put it to the side. Now, um, the front of my half track is basically the exact same as my old one. You know, same wheel design, winch concept, headlights, all that's, you know, jazz. It's basically all the same. So, there's not really much point in going over it because you guys have hopefully already seen it. Now, the cabin section, and basically from the cabin onward, it's totally different. Now, the cabin, as you can see, I did put a roof, and also on the doors, there they go all the way up. But one thing I do want to point out with the doors is that they do slant uh, outwards, if this will focus, I don't know. Um, it's very slight, and it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, these doors, they do slant. Um, there is a slant right here. So, I hope you guys can see it, but you might be able to tell over here, it is a slant. But it's very slight, but it's there. Um, the point is that my old half track did not have that slant. And my new one does, which is more accurate, because all the half tracks had a slant on the side doors. So, that's really nice, really unique, and kind of glad that I did that. Now, taking this off, uh, see there's a driver in there, and of course you can open the doors. But they kind of fall off. And you see, they open like that, and they can both close. So, yeah, like that. Anyways, moving on. On the back, as you guys can see here, uh, I do have, I did attach this bar thing. Now, this bar was meant to basically put gear on, and as you can see, I put a bazooka, so that they can blow up tanks, you know, have fun with that. Yeah, so you can basically put gear, and um, also on the right here we have tracks. They move very easily, and I think they can even move on here. Yeah, they move even on here, so that's incredibly easy how well they move. So, yeah. And of course, there's also a much better design right here, because my old one, there wasn't the space between the uh, gap, like, I mean, between the wheels, but now there is, and it's much better. And it's just overall much stronger. Um, so yeah, basically same thing on the back, not really much of, I mean on the side, on the side, basically the same thing. The only difference is we have a different gun, I think it's an M1 Grand, I'm not entirely sure, and a gas tank, so, you know, you need the gas. Now on the back, as you can see, we do have like a gear type thing, not really sure what you would call it, just a gear piece. We also have a bumper machine gun and a back opening door if I can open it see it opens like that 
You can also take the troops out this way, or, you know, just manually like this. And voila. And so yeah, here is the, basically, troop bay, or whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, now, as you guys might see, the, uh, whatever you want to call this section is basically attached here, like that. And also it's attached underneath here, but it's kind of a secret how it's done. It, it, it's all made out of Lego. There's no, like, modded or any parts like that. This is a 100% Lego, you know, 100%, like, actual pieces. Nothing was cut. Nothing was glued. Everything is actual Lego. So, just to let you guys know. Now, um, as you can see, the door can open and close. And on the back here, we have a machine gun, which means you can basically put a guy right here to shoot the machine gun and look like a total BA. And of course, that's if he doesn't fall. But, oh my gosh, where is he? There we go. So, yeah, it's kind of a unique feature. Looks kind of nice. And the machine gun can go up and down. So, yeah. Also, the machine gun is from Brick Arms, just to let you guys know. Same with all the other weapons on here. So, yeah. And also, same with the uh, helmets. You see, these helmets, they are, they are from Brick Arms. So, just like Google Brick Arms, and you will most likely find them. So, yeah. Um, on the underside, as you can see, it's pretty complex. There's actually a lot of things you don't see. Like, there's a lot of interior working here and here. There's a lot of things that you guys don't see, and I'm not going to show you guys just because it would take too much time and be a bit complex explaining. So, yeah, this model did take me a lot of time to make and was definitely kind of an interesting piece of art to put together. Now, before you guys go, I do want to show you how strong this model is. I'm not going to drop it because that would be insane, but I will shake it really hard. Like, I'm actually shaking it. See, nothing breaks, and also shake it in here. It's a really strong model. Um, as you guys do notice, I did take off these things, just so that they wouldn't fly off, because obviously those things are going to fly off. But, yeah, it's a really strong model. It looks really great, and um, I'm actually really proud of how it came out. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts of how, or what you guys think of it, for it really a really interesting model to put together so yeah please comment below and tell me what you guys think and please don't forget to give this video a like or a thumbs up I mean and please don't forget to subscribe because it does mean a lot so thank you guys and I'll see you in another video